All right, everyone. This is Darkwood. Um, it's a top-down survival horror game uh, that I do remember seeing people play early access of it on YouTube, but it recently came out on uh, PlayStation 4. So I am going to give it a go. I know in my Life is Strange 2 Episode 3 um, Let's uh, live stream. I mentioned the next game would be uh, my big sister, but I I did play that, and I it's a lot of me reading, so I didn't think it would be very good for a let's play. Um, just I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it for a let's play. This one I think would be a little better though. Um, it looks really cool. Um, and I'm hoping there's like a def definitive end to it, um, but we'll see. So I will get started here with a new game. Yep. Do it on normal. The forgiving mode. When dying, you drop a part of your equipment. The ultimate thrill. Death is permanent. Uh, hell no. The unforgiving mode. You have a limited number of lives. After that, it's game over. Okay. That one is... Do not skip the prologue if you're playing for the first time. This option enables additional cool, but immersion-breaking content. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> I don't... And I'm sorry if you can hear a lawnmower. Um, I think it's my next door neighbor, but what can you do? So when using with an item selected in your hot fire, hold L2 and then press X to use it. You're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You'll not be led by the hand. Respect the woods, be patient and focus. All right. To run, push, all right. Loading screen. I, I do appreciate these hot tips you're giving me though. But I have to be at work in at like an hour and a half. So move it along here. I'm so sleepy. I had to take melatonin to fall asleep, and I guess the drug is just, it's not really a drug, but I still feel it. Mm. Come on. Oh my goodness. Well, that's useful. I will not be led by the hand. Arch three to jump back. It uses stamina. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed.
medical notes. Barricaded window. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Well, I don't know them by heart. Alcohol distiller. A homemade device for producing moonshine. Potatoes, the only edible thing growing on this land. I still have some left. Chair. Piss off. Someone knocked at my door. Like, now's not the good time to do that shit. Shoes. The generator's almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. Hold on a moment. Go the fuck away. Alright, sorry about that. Some door-to-door -door salesman kind of crap. I thought we didn't have those in our neighborhood anymore, but oh well. Okay, shoes. Um, yeah, why not? Searched. Guess there's nothing in them. Search chair. My old Zenit camera. My old useless medical bag. And a photo. We'll leave those there for now. Cage. Cages this time they're empty. My tools. They haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. So apparently we were a doctor of some sort. Container. The lock is jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. Nope. That's also not how doors work in the real world, usually. I'd rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Him. Use lockpick. Open. Well, we'll leave him in there for now. Wait a second. My bed. I've just woken up. The radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Alcohol. Rag. I open the front door to my house with this. My medical book. save the power. Okay, we got the key. I want 25p. This Tribuna Luda. What language is this in? My mic is kind of blocking a part of my screen here. Okay, there we go. Oh. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Destroyed well. 
rope. Do I have anything? Wooden doll. Large humanoid doll with a carved out face. It used to be a luxury, but since all the accessories have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. So we need to find some gas for our generator. All right. So how do we attack? Hold L2 to take aim, then press R2 while aiming to attack. Alright. There we go. These trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Share snare traps. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. I'll pick that up. Search the dead cow, I guess. Yeah. Why the... kind of interesting. Okay, we found a location path. I'm here. I don't want to go too fast. Okay. That's not a tree I can chop. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. Ooh, that was loud. Yep, I, I see the map there. Mm -hmm, thank you. We've got a fallen tree. Burned campfire. Can that not be stacked? These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Okay. You... Okay. So, I crafted one. Oh, there it is. Here we go. I'm assuming it's not a very long-standing torch because uh, I don't have gasoline at the moment. Abandoned house, as far as we can tell. Windows are barricaded, or not barricaded.
I don't seem to be able to get access inside though. this here. A corpse. In a few days it will be completely absorbed. Okay. Sorry, it looked like it was gone. No, it's just because... Oh. So, is there a ritual here? Clothes. Definitely take that. Oh, I'm inside the house now, I think. I think I have all the rags I can. I only have one. I can't repair it. interesting. It uh, looks like the legs of a human, but a dog or something like that. Okay. To enter far look, hold R2 and use right stick to move the cursor. All on-screen pops will be hidden so you can explore the world. Hold R2, right stick. Okay. I see you over here. I think this one is still breathing. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. Is that the end of the prologue? I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I will let you go. Sometimes I hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where. Jesus. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. my key. Are we you now? We are. An entry to a small cellar. Maybe the pantry? Locked. I could open it with a lock pick. I don't have any lock picks. I'm 
hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. So... Heal up. I'm not sure if I'm I can move. Okay. All right. Now I can do that. Side is a shovel. It's heavy, but it has a good reach. Yeah, it's no longer usable. I need to repair it. What the? Better not leave the house at night. It's safer here. Um. Nothing in the cage. don't know the answer to that. Who's there? Please let me out. Tape with leather belt strapped on. Gasoline. A table leg. Refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank, head toward the generator, hold L2. It's not a corpse, it's moving. The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open, and I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. Wait, was that the radio? That was the radio. 4892.
There was some stuck. I need to place some force on it. Um. Help me. Who are you? <gasps> what the fuck? Is that supposed to happen? So, so are we playing as various people? Oh, I guess we're the mysterious man that ended up here. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety over after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Examine the oven, look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning! Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. So is it something to keep us safe from whatever? When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. A small, empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Cook. Okay, I guess we can make some drugs here. I have nothing, though. Alright, just transfer all, transfer all. What's this? Photo of a road. A road home. Oh, I didn't look at that one guy's photo. Oh, well. I don't like hearing the, the little, the, the slimy slimy. The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. Yeah. 
The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. I don't have any boards. I know in order to barricade, that's what I'll need. Hmm, that looks like an issue. searched that. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. Totally. But we don't have anything to craft. Not a good idea. Oh no, I've been poisoned. Is that gonna run out? Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm no longer poisoned. Alright. I already searched that. Okay. Alright, yeah, we should try to... Make this place look a little... Hmm. There's a well. We can build a well. That'd be useful. A saw? Oh, we can saw it. But, um, we don't have a saw. Maybe once I learn of a safer way. Okay, we'll take the rag, take the match. Might as well take the torch. Some notes. Generator note found. Well, what does it say? I... The generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. Should find a full can of the house above the underground entrance. An X down to the south. Oh. I have any way to defend myself. Got it. There. 
poisonous mushrooms. We don't want to mess with those, I think. like keys 21 that's the key that guy stole from me I think underground entrance this is it got it definitely want with some wood logs This is the house. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. <laughs> Jesus! I moved too quickly. Well, I guess I'll be using those bandages now. mushrooms. I'm an idiot, if, uh, for those of you who have, uh, been watching me for some time. <laughs> so. Okay, here we go. The entrance to the underground tunnels. Yeah, let's go down. That sounds like a good idea. Keeping my eye on the time. Got a few more minutes. I can probably do this. Press R1 to perform an alternative attack. <sighs> what could go wrong down here? The light bulb dimly lits the well walls of the underground passage. The further part is shrouded in complete darkness. We need a light source to continue. So, we've got a motorcycle magazine, an automotive magazine, this year's issue. 1987, I guess that's when the game takes place. Sure, we'll, we'll take that. The thick wooden posts barely hold the soaked ground and the tangled roots. The construction seems on the verge of collapse. <gasps> okay. light. Locked. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. The hatch handle is covered in a thick layer of dust that hasn't been opened for at least two weeks. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Locked. So that's the key we need. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's part of the passage is blocked by overgrown, right? Tangled roots. No. Oh, I poisoned myself by accident. By sheer accident. Okay, um... pick up, uh, leave it there. God, ah, oh, these sounds. Did I find what I was looking for? I don't know if I did. Wasn't I getting gas? Jesus. It's that friggin... Here's the journal. Key to underground. How's one to actually read this? I don't think I'm done here. Is there another path in the underground I should have taken? I just feel like I'm not done down here, that's all. Okay. 
Thank you. And I think I went this way. It's blocked by roots. right now because I got attacked and I don't know what attacked me probably that thing I saw crawling earlier but I don't think there's much else we can do down here and we found that eldritch horror Guess we'll move on back to our hideout. see. Okay, so I guess we can store some stuff here. Store the shiny stone. I guess we'll cook the meat. of 50 essence. I don't know what that means. Okay, um... Is it getting dark? Okay, so, hold on. 
taking some time to figure this out. Try to build up traps. All right. A bear trap there. Trap there. Wardrobe. Okay, use. Well, can we get these used here? Do I need to? I bet I need to turn on the uh, generator. I'm too far. All right, it's now like nighttime. Near the hideout under the influence of the protective substance. It will help you survive the night. Thank God. <sighs> Can I go to bed? I think maybe I figured out the how to use the, uh, to use the saw, but. <gasps> I didn't open that. I thought I was safe. It is dark. I do not like this at all. How long does nighttime last?
I have nothing to use as a weapon either. It's getting darker. Music swelling. Okay, it looks like it's getting back to morning now. Looks like everything's overgrown. Whoa, whoa. Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter, what do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've no time for weaklings, mate. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. What's that you got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts his thick, yellow spit landing on the photo. <laughs> this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home meat. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. anything I can trade for. I don't think so. At least not at the moment. Gossip! I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, meet. Or at least until you get a decent weapon. Do you have any weapons? Not that I can see. Well, there's a gun. A handgun frame. You got parts. Uh, value 48. Yeah, I got nothing to trade. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. Alright, if you wish to spend some more quality time basking in the striking yet natural beauty of my features before you head off to the silent forest, you will find me in my camp in the dry meadow. The wolf points to a location on my map. Thank you. I don't understand. I don't understand, but whatever. I have to go. 